Hi, I'm going to show you a trick I figured out about reporting on Google Analytics scroll tracking data in Data Studio. If you haven't watched my previous video yet, then I'll pop a link up at the top of the screen and you can check that out. In that video, I show you how to do a dashboard like this. And in this dashboard, you can see we have pages on the left and then we have counts of how far people scroll down the page. So 179 people scrolled 0% down this, this first example, and 145 scrolled 25% down, and so on. I posted this video, and, and somebody asked a question of, well, what I'd like to see is the percentage of people that scrolled halfway down the page, or 25% down, down the page, and so on. And I had wanted to figure that out, too. When I first created this dashboard, I couldn't figure it out, and, and it, it drove me a little bit batty. I, I um, tried a bunch of different things. I wanted to be able to do it with a direct connection to Google Analytics. You could certainly do it if you put the data into a Google Sheet and connected to that or into BigQuery. But I wanted to figure out a way that I could do it with a direct connection using the Data Studio Google Analytics connector. So the, what we're going to put together looks like this report here. And this one's done, and I'm going to show you how to go from the what we we're looking at previously to this. The, so the things I want to show you here is we have the number of people that, that viewed this post, and then the number of people that scrolled down 25%, the percentage of people that scroll down 25% and so on. Much more actionable, right? I mean, because you can really compare like 50% scrolls, like 87% of, of people uh, scrolled 50% down this one. And I mean, you could figure it out by doing the math in your head with the other one, but this is so much nicer to look at. So let's take a crack at it. All right, so I'm starting from a, a blank report here, and, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a table. Okay, now I'm going to switch my data source to Google Analytics here, and I've got, get rid of that. So the, the data that I want to see in here is I want page as my dimension, and then I want unique events. So this is a, a count of unique events. And I want that as my metric. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is in this table, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to add a filter because what I really want to see in this table is just people that scrolled 0%. Now, if we look at this filter, what it's doing is it's just saying the event action is equal to 0%, and that's how I set up the event in Google Analytics. Okay, so I'm going to save that. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this a little bit narrower and smaller, and I'm going to copy, so I'm going to take this table and I'm going to copy it over, and I'm actually going to go ahead and copy it over twice. Okay. So now I've got three tables here. All right, so in this table, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to pick this action equals 25%. And in this one, I'm going to pick, come down here and I'm going to pick action equals 50%. And again, I already set up these filters. You can do the same thing. So you're just going to go and you're going to create filters that where we're including event action equals to 50%. So it's just filtering on data where the event action equals to 50%. All right, now here's the crazy cool trick I figured out. I, I, I guess I'd seen this before, but I never really used it, which is if you select, the, now select these three tables, and if I right click or control click, I can choose to blend this data. So let's do a little blending magic. Okay, so now we have a new table with the blended data. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get rid of these. And I'm showing you as an example that 0%, 25%, 50%, you can go ahead and, and 
create two more tables to get 75% and 100%. I just didn't want to take the time of doing all that because the, the principles are the same. The way that you're going to do it is exactly like what I'm showing you here. All right, so now we have unique events, unique events, unique events. And, and the um, not super helpful yet. Now we're going to go up to resource manage blended data. Um, and I guess I'll show you one other. I, this is one way to get here, but I can also just click on this pencil icon to now what I want to do is I want to edit my blended data. So now I'm going to drag this all the way up. Okay. The thing that I want to do here is in this case, we've got action equals 50%. Action equals 25%, action equals 0%. So I'm going to change the name of this metric to, and I'm actually going to call this just page views, because if you think about it, that when the goal fires, I mean the event fires, it fires when the page is viewed, because it's a 0% scroll, right? So every time the, the, um, somebody views the page, that, that event fires. Now, on this one, what I'm going to say is 25% scroll count and I'm doing this because when you looked at it before in the in the report view it just said unique event unique event unique events and and that's not very helpful because they're actually counting different things I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to change this one to 50 percent scroll count okay now, so I've got those set up. I'm going to save this, close out. All right, so now we have 50% scroll count, 25% scroll count, and page view. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is, so you can add custom fields in a report. And so that's what we're going to do. And, and in fact, with blend data blends, that's where you have to do it. So I'm going to say I want to create a new field, and I'm going to call this 25% scrolls. And, and this one is going to be, I'm going to pick my 25% scroll count divided by my page view. And I'm going to apply. Okay, and then I'm going to add one more. Create a field again. And I'm going to call this one 50% and do the same thing. This time I'm going to pick the 50% scroll count. I'm going to divide that by page view. Okay. Uh, one other thing that I should have done with the other one is I'm going to change this here and I'm going to change it to percent. Because I'm now showing a ratio, I'm showing a percentage. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with this one. Okay, so now I, I don't actually need these scroll count columns. So I'm going to get rid of those. Okay, so now what we have is we've got the pages on the left. We've got the total number of page views, and then we have the percentage of people that scrolled 25% and 50%. And, and as I mentioned before, when you create the blend, you could go ahead and you can go ahead and add the uh, additional, like the 75% scroll, the 100% scroll. And I'll show you one last thing. So when we go to the one where I went ahead and created the blend with with all those fields. In, in this table, if you look in, in style, when you're looking at a table and it's got a heat map on it like this, so, so the, setting up a table with a heat map is actually just an option you can pick. So I selected this table with heat map, and then the next thing I did is you can go down and you can say, well, I don't want to apply a heat map to this metric. And so in the case of unique page views, I just wanted a number. So I changed this from heat map to number. So now it's got it 
nicely organized. I also changed the decimal precision of these to get rid of the decimal points because I don't, that's not really helpful to me. I increased the size a little bit. So voila, you get to see the different pages on a website and the percent of people that scroll um, partway down the page, all the way down the page. So keep on asking great questions. Thanks.